destroyed. Taming the Wild Beast is a cakewalk in comparison to Taming the Animal Batista. It's worth noting that a lot of people give ECW credit for popularizing the triple threat match back in the mid to late 1990s. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista bomb tonight. Painful. Be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. Boom, what impact. When I was Triple H here, I can't help but think how he's changed the face of the WWE over the years, including when he was the driving force behind the creation of Evolution in 2002 with the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Harsh impact! Michael started discussing evolution in 2002 and the force they became. It represented the past with Flair, the present with Triple H, and the future with Randy Orton and Batista. You might not have liked them, but you had to respect them. <laughs> not like evolution. I loved them in evolution because they took joy in angering just about everyone else. At one point in 2003, they held every men's championship on Raw. A true testimony to their dominance. Batista returned to WWE in 2014 in the best shape of his career. The Animal entered the Royal Rumble match and stood nose to nose with upstart Roman Reigns. Uh, it was absolutely electric, Michael. Batista eliminated Reigns to win the match and became only the fourth man to win the Royal Rumble twice. I want to go back to Batista's 2014 Royal Rumble win. The WWE Universe could not have voiced more displeasure at the fact that Batista won, even when he faced off against the much-despised members of the Shield. Yeah, it wasn't the hero's return he expected, but that didn't stop the animal from crushing everything in sight on his road to WrestleMania. What a strike! Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Super kick! No luck against Batista there. Oh, a shin breaker! Try walking after that one. The triple threat match from Vengeance featuring The Rock, The Undertaker, and Kurt Angle took complete advantage of the no count out and no disqualification stipulations. There was a full scale brawl out on the floor within the first few minutes of the match. The dead man battled both superstars and refused to. He's looking at it. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. And he's heading back in. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. And the animal is all fired up. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, kick out. It's going to take more than that. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a 2-on-1 attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Batista turns it around. Uh-oh. Batista is looking to end it. Very difficult position to be in. Powerbomb planet. The game getting absolutely punished right now. Shoulders on the mat. What a victory. What a triple threat.